So this is all the new stuff that he <laughs> clicked through, is that right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is stuff we clicked through. Okay. I, mean, I was just very I was very much like I wanna I wanna I wanna know what happens. I know, I get it. Do you wanna like read through this? Sure, we okay. might as well. Oh man, I am the last one here again. Don't worry, I just walked in too. Were you practicing piano again? Oh yes, ha 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 ha. You must have a lot of determination, starting this club and now picking up the piano. Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. Remember, the club wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. And I am super happy you are all willing to help out for festival too. Uh, well, I can't wait for the festival, There's it's the gonna voice. be great. <laughs> huh? Weren't you complaining about it just yesterday, Natsuki? Well, yeah, but I'm not talking about our part of the festival. It's a whole day of school where we get to play and eat all kinds of delicious food. You sound a bit like Sayori all of a sudden. Monica, do they usually have fried squid? Squid, that is pretty specific thing to look forward to. Aw, oh, come on, are you saying you don't like squid? You of all people? Huh? Uh, eh? I did not say I don't like it. Besides, what do you mean by you of all people? Oh, because it's in your name. Monica. Huh? Eh? That is not how you say my name at all. Also, this joke makes no sense in translation. Uh, never mind. Let us just focus on event for now. Ah, oh, fine, fine. Your reactions aren't as fun as Yuri's or Sayori's anyway. Excuse me. Where's Sayori anyway? Oh, there you are. Sayori's sitting at a desk in the corner of the room looking down at nothing. I walk over to her. Hey, Sayori. And that's where we're at. Okay, cool. Uh, load game. We're just here. returned, yes. yeah? Uh, oh, we're thanks. here. I wave my hand in front of her face. Huh? You're spacing out again. Oh! Ah, sorry. Don't mind me. You can go talk to everyone else. Huh. Is everything all right? Uh, of course. Why wouldn't it be? It just feels like you're a little off. Sorry for assuming things. Oh, geez, you worry too much about me. I'm fine, see? Ha 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 ha! She's not. She knows that I love Yuri. Ha, 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 she knows I want the Yuri. I'm fine. So he shows me a big smile. Don't let me distract you from having fun with everyone. Well, all right. If you say so. I worriedly glance at Sayori before turning back toward everyone else. But the conversation is already dispersed and everyone back at their usual activities. Maybe I should ask Monica if she's noticed anything about Sayori recently. Since they've been preparing for the festival, they must have spent a lot of time together. I timidly approach him. Why timidly? Whatever. Because I am strong like bull. Oh, all right, yeah. And you are very intimidate. I am so intimidate. Who's shuffling through some papers at her desk. Yesy, what is up? Hey, this might sound a little strange, but... Have you noticed anything up with Sayori recently? Anything up with her? Hmm... In what way do you mean? Maybe I'm reading a little too much into this whole thing, but she seems a bit downcast today. Oh, you think so? I cannot say I've noticed anything about her. Monica appears across the room at Sayori, who idly dragging a rubber eraser up and down her desk. Maybe there is something on her mind. But I am surprised I am not the one asking you, Yessi. You certainly know her a lot better than I do. Yeah, but she's never really like this. She's always talked to me about things that bother her. This time, when I asked her, she seemed really dismissive. Sorry, I know it's not your problem. I just wanted to ask if you knew anything, so I'll drop it now. Uh, uh. <laughs> this is important to me, too. I mean, I am also her friend. And I also care about the well-being of club members, you know? Maybe I will try talking to her myself. Uh, you sure about that? She seemed like she wanted to be left alone. Are you sure? Maybe she just has a hard time bringing it up with person of interest. Person of interest? What do you mean by that? I am saying maybe the thing on her mind is you, Yessie. Ooh! Me? How on earth would you come to that conclusion? Well... I probably shouldn't say too much, but Sayori talks about you more than anything else, you know? Uh... 
She has been so much happier ever since you joined club. Is like an extra light turned on inside of her. What? No way. Sayori is always like that. She's always been full of sunshine. It's not any different now than it has always been. <laughs> <laughs> you are so funny, Yessie. What? What? Have you thought maybe you've always seen her as so cheerful? Because that is how she is when she is around you. Lady, you just blew my fucking mind. I know. I am crazy smart. Oh, and I say too much. I'm sorry. What do I know anyway? I didn't mean to jump to conclusion, so you should just forget about what I say. I will try to talk to her. Do not think about it for now. Uh, all right. Monica smiles meaningfully. I know she said to forget about it, but I already know that I won't be able to get her words out of my head. Girl blew my mind. Then she goes over to Sayori. I watch her kneel down next to Sayori and gently talk to her. She's keeping her voice so quiet I can't hear from here. Uh, I sigh and sit myself down. I know Sayori told me not to worry about her and to have fun with everyone else. But it's impossible to do when she's behaving like this. Exactly how much do I care about her? So much. So but only much. in the bone zone. Now it feels like I'm the one behaving out of the ordinary. There's nothing I can do besides wait for Monica. Why does it feel like I'm being watched? I glance around the room. Suddenly, I notice Yuri peering at me from over a book. She looks away at just as quickly with a flustered look on her face. I realize she won't get anywhere like this. I've never really seen Yuri approach anyone or start a conversation on her own accord. So, I have no choice but to approach her myself. By now, it's a little easier for me to do that. I stand up from my desk and sit in the one next to her own. Uh, I, I didn't mean to bother you or anything. Relax, you didn't even do anything. But, I could tell you wanted to be alone with your thoughts. Alone with my thoughts? How are you even able to tell what I'm thinking? Uh, you got brain powers, lady? Maybe. Uh, <laughs> oh shit, well, maybe. Uh, well, it's something I do a lot. So it wasn't hard for me to spot based on your posture and your expression and... No, not that I was staring or anything. I didn't do anything creepy like that. In any case, I, I guess you're right. I'm sorry if I caused you any concern. Don't apologize. Your troubles are only the concern of those who willingly share in that concern. I mean, of course there are certainly those who find the most comfort in keeping to themselves, but... If you would prefer to share what's on your mind, I would be glad to listen. Uh, it's really not that big of a deal. I'm just feeling about, you know, a little uneasy about Sayori. S oh, Sayori? Yeah, she seems a little off today, but when I asked her about it, she didn't want to admit it to me. So I can't help but wonder if something happened to her? Uh, oh. Well, that's quite romantic. Oh, God, lady! Am I going to get one of those situations where they're all like, he's in love with someone else? <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to say something stupid. It's not that. I just want you to understand. Sayori and I have been friends for a long time, that's all. Oh, I see. Then perhaps it's unusual for her to be dismissive to you about her feelings. You get me, boobs. Or maybe I'm just reading a little too much into the whole thing, I don't know. Jesse, the world is full of meaning. It's often hidden deep beneath plain sight. And there are many untold mysteries behind every person, no matter how well you may know them. Ah, so you think that there might be something behind it after all? Hmm. I think Sayori is a complex person. Her mannerisms on the outside, well, they don't always match what's going on inside her head. And she may not always know what she wants. I noticed her strange behavior today, too. I, I also feel some concern for her. But in your case, it looked like she was fully occupying your thoughts, wasn't she? Well, I guess that was the case. Sayori, she really means a lot to you, doesn't she? Uh, I, I guess. 
But you don't need to put it that way. We're just good friends, that's all. <sighs> Yuli, Yuli, Yuli. Yes. Suddenly looks deeply into my eyes. Her expression is gentle and curious, as if she was searching for something. Embarrassed, I avert my gaze. Sometimes, a person's mysteries are untold even to themselves. And you, as someone honest and caring, you may uncover feelings you weren't aware were in you. The, that is, I think that she would be a very fortunate person to have you, um, feel that way about her. Yuri, you're giving me too much credit. I'm an asshole. I'm just trying to bone down with all y'all. How does no one know this yet? Yeah, I'm just trying to How does no one realize I'm a big old dick? Yeah, I'm a pretty simple guy. So I think I'm pretty good at understanding my own feelings. I'm not nearly as sophisticated as you. Ah. Uh -huh. Oh, that's not a compliment, is it? It is what it is. <laughs> what does that mean? Anyway, as long as we're here, why don't we do some reading? How about I feed you some more chocolate? Damn. Well, as long as you're okay with it. Yeah. I, sh I should be taking my mind off this whole thing anyway. By sticking things in your mouth. Yo! Make that shit happen, video game. Uh-oh. Okay, everybody. After time- Oh. After some time passes, Monica calls out of the club room. Why don't we share poems? Oh my god, you just clicked random fucking shit on this poem. This will be a great poem. It'll be great. This is gonna be great. It'll be great. Before I know it, everything is back to normal. Everyone goes to retrieve their poems, and I do the same. I make eye contact with Monica, and she smiles at me. I wonder what she's talking about with Sayori, or what she was talking about. Uh, done the list? Sure. Nice, I guess. Whoa, this is the first time she hasn't liked it. Come on, I can already tell you don't like it. Well, um, I mean, you don't need to worry about what I think. <laughs> I mean, after all, you wrote this for someone else, didn't you? Whoa. Probably Yuri. <laughs> uh, I didn't write this for anyone specifically. Maybe. I mean, that's not really what I mean, though. <laughs> but it's okay. You're making new friends, just like I wanted. And that makes me uh, really, really happy. And you're happy, right? In this club? Well, of course I am. Oh, good. That's all that matters to me. Thank you, Jesse. Sorry, is there something wrong? Huh? No, nothing. I'm just tired, that's all. <laughs> all right. Just tell me if you need anything. Oh, I will. Don't you worry about me, okay? <laughs> you can go play with everyone else now. We, like, broke this girl. You insist. Yay! <laughs> I'm gonna go home a little bit early. We broke this girl. So we literally, already... literally, we didn't even, in the conversation, we didn't even say, like, yeah, we would totally walk home with Yuri because she's way better than you. Or anything, like, mean like that. We were like, well, Yuri is kind of... Antisocial and yeah. yeah, if she has to walk home, we would walk home with her. We broke her. She but she's like fucked up now. Yeah. Ah, uh, tell Monica I just wasn't feeling well. I gotta go. Bye. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Before I can say anything else, Sayori cheerfully walks out of the classroom, humming to herself. Okay. Uh, this one's all right, I guess. All right. Well, yeah. I mean, it doesn't blow me away. I think I've said these lines before. There's nothing I really hate about it, I guess. It's just not really my style, which I mean, that's fine. Come to think of it, this kind of reminds me of Sayori's poem from yesterday. Uh, you think so? Yeah, well, I guess if you've been friends with her for so long, you might be on the same wavelength. But you never really struck me as her type. Sayori has a type all of a sudden? Well, I don't know. Honestly, how could someone so, uh... Fluffy spends so much time with someone like you. It's like she's dragging around a dead weight. Damn. Ugh, that was a little unnecessary. But think of it this way. If it weren't for me, she would probably just fly away like letting go of a balloon. You could say we each take care of each other in our own way. 
Yeah, I mean, you could say that. Whatever it is, I don't get it. Oh, yeah, I guess I'm supposed to show you my poem. Ugh. Here. I'll be your beach. Your mind is so full of troubles and fears that diminished your wonder over the years. But today, I have a special place, a beach for us to go. A shore reaching beyond your sight, a sea that sparkles with brilliant light. The walls in your mind will melt away before the sunny glow. I'll be the beach that washes your worries away. I'll be the beach that you daydream about each day. I'll be the beach that makes your heart leap in a way you thought had left you long ago. Holy shit. Uh, let's bury your heavy thoughts in a pile of sand. Bathe in sunbeams and hold my hand. Wash your insecurities in the salty sea. And let me see you shine. Let's leave your memories in a footprint trail. Set you free in my windy sail. And remember the reasons you're wonderful when you press your lips to mine. I'll be the beach. Boppy boop. But if you let me by your side... Your own beach, your own escape, you'll learn to love yourself again. All right. Sure. Poems. Yeah. I felt like I kept writing about negative stuff, so I wanted to write something with a nice message for once. Besides, the beach is awesome. It's kind of hard to write anything negative about the beach, you know? This is, like, not her style. Yeah. This is a totally different style. Yeah. So you decided to write about the beach first, then came up with the message later? Yeah, well, it's only because of what happened yesterday. I mean, after Yuri and I realized we kind of wrote about the same thing, she wanted to pick a topic and have us both write about it or whatever. Ugh, you can really see her doing that too. Making us write about a simple topic, then trying to impress me by coming up with something all fancy. Well, it's not like I care, okay? I just did it anyway. So, I mean, I guess mine ended up being kind of metaphorical, too. But there's nothing wrong with doing that once in a while, you know? At the very least, it was good practice. Sure. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Oh, you decided to try something different today. Do they today. all hate my... That's what I get for spam clicking. You just spam clicked. I guess so. Is that good or bad? Well, neither. I have my preferences, but it would be unfair of me to call something good or bad based on that. As always, I believe what's most important is exploring and discovering yourself. That's comforting. Kind of afraid of disappointing you in some way or another. Huh? Why me? Well, you're always sophisticated with your writing and have the most advice to share? Oh, is that so? Hmm. Yuri thinks for a good minute. That must be terrible. What? For me to have become someone whose opinion is fearsome. How unlikable of me. Yuri. It's not as bad as you're making it sound in your head. I just meant that I respect your opinion. I see. I'm sorry, I always overthink and come to those kinds of conclusions. I'm just a little too used to it. Overthinking? Being disliked. Yuri. <sighs> what am I saying? Sorry, I didn't mean to bring that up. Um, let's move on. Alright. Do you want to share your poem now? Okay. Here. Beach. <laughs> it is the beach. A marvel millions of years in the making... Where the womb of the earth chaotically meets the surface. I hate reading this uh, cursive. Yeah. Under a clear blue sky, an expanse of bliss, but beneath gray rolling clouds, an endless enigma. The easiest world to get lost in is one where everything can be found. One can only build a sand castle where the sand is wet, but where the sand is wet, the tide comes. Will it gently lick at your foundations until you give in? Or will a sudden wave send you crashing down in the blink of an eye? Either way, the outcome is the same. Yet we still build sandcastles. I stand where the foam wraps around my ankles, where my toes squish into the sand. The salty air is therapeutic. The breeze is gentle yet powerful. I sink my toes into the ultimate boundary line 
tempted by the foaming tendrils. Turn back, and I abandon my peace to a road at the shore, drift forward, and I return to Earth forevermore. All right. Sure. Um, I'm aware the beach is kind of an inane thing to write about, but I did my best to take a metaphorical approach to it. Yeah, Natsuki already told me about it. Uh, oh, she did? She didn't say anything weird, did she? She just wanted us to write about the same topic again. I suppose to better compare the differences in our writing styles, they both said that it was one another's idea. Yeah, <laughs> which is liars. Weird. Or thought process. Um, anyway, it was her idea. Knowing her, it's no surprise she'd want to do something like that. She probably just wants to show off. It's not like I have a particular interest in her writing style. I just went with her request. But, well, I suppose it's not so bad to write about something simple on occasion. It can be refreshing, you know? Well, it's good for me to calm my thoughts once in a while. Yeah, I think I agree. Thanks for sharing. You are so welcome. Yeah. Monica, take us to Crazy Town. Hello! <laughs> Have you thought about what you want to submit to perform at festival? Well, being in this club is one thing, but performing in front of a bunch of people? Uh, I'll have to give it some more thought. Okay, no pressure. But whatever you do, I'm sure it'll turn out great. It would also make me happy to see. Aha! Anyway, let us take a look at today's poem. Sure. I let Monica take the poem I'm holding in my hands. I like this one. It makes me think of something Sayori would like. That's weird, because she hated it and then left. Yeah. Is that so? You and Sayori are really good friends, right? I wouldn't be surprised if you had these sorts of things in common. Uh, well, we may be good friends, but Sayori and I are actually really different. Hmm. Well, this may be the case. But maybe there are also some similarities you wouldn't expect. The way she talks about you. It sounds like the two of you really care about each other's well-being. Even if you show it in different ways, it ends up being more similar than you would think. So I think that is the kind of vibe I get when reading your poem. Hmm. You sure you're not reading into it too much? Aha! I could be. Oh, goodness, I sound like Yuri. But in any case, Sayori's writing has a kind of gentle feel to it. I can tell she likes to explore emotions, happiness, and sadness. Who knew someone so happy would enjoy sad things, too? Yeah, that's totally unexpected. Well, to each their own. And you shouldn't be afraid to experiment a little bit, either. Anyway... I will share my poem with you now. Uh, all, all right. <laughs> the lady who knows everything. Tell as old, a, a tale tells of a lady who wanders earth. The lady who knows everything. A beautiful lady who has found every answer, all meaning, all purpose, and all that was ever sought. And here I am, a feather. Lost adrift the sky, victim of the currents of the wind. Day after day I search. I search with little hope, knowing legends don't exist. When all else has failed me, when all others have turned away, the legend is all that remains, the last dim star glimmering in the twilight sky. Till one day, the wind ceases to blow. I fall, and I fall, and fall, and fall even more, gentle as a feather, a dry quill expressionless. But a hand catches me between the thumb and forefinger, the hand of a beautiful lady. I look at her eyes and find no end to her gaze. The lady who knows everything knows what I'm thinking. Before I can speak, she responds in a hollow voice. I have found every answer, all of which amount to nothing. There is no meaning, there is no purpose, and we seek only the impossible. I am not your legend, your legend does not exist. And with a breath, she blows me back afloat, and I pick up a gust of wind. Alright. You know, 
I feel like learning and looking for answers are the sort of things that give life meaning. Not to get too philosophical or anything, but it was kind of on my mind, so that is why I wrote about it. I see. I never really put much thought into it. In a way, it's almost paradoxical. Because if we had all the answers, wouldn't the world start to learn its meaning? You know, there's one thing I noticed. It seems like everyone in the club prefers writing about things that are more sad than happy. Ah, are you surprised? I mean, if everything was okay, we wouldn't really have anything to write about, would we? Humans aren't two-dimensional creatures. I think you would know that better than anyone. You mean one-dimensional? Ah, yes, this. This is a two-dimensional game. Are they trying to say something? Yeah. Uh, anyway, here is Monica's writing tip of the day. Are you ever too shy to share your writing because you are afraid it is not good? It can be really disheartening to get lukewarm response to something you put so much into. But if you find other people who enjoy writing, then sharing becomes a lot easier. Because instead of just telling you that your writing is good or okay or bad, they will want to focus more on everything that went into it and the things you can work on. It's much more encouraging that way. It will make you want to continue improving. It's almost like having your own little literature club, don't you think? That is my advice for today. Thank you for listening. All right. Okay, you three. We are done sharing poems, right? Why don't we start figuring out? Well, hold on a second. Is it just me or did you say something strange just now? Eh? Huh? Something did sound unusual. Oh, that's right. You deviated from your usual catchphrase when addressing the club. Oh, catchphrase? I don't have catchphrase. Oh, jeez. Why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. Uh, stagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. In your books, maybe. Look, the only thing different is that Sayori isn't here. Oh, it seems you're right. Huh. Sayori always helps lighten the mood a little bit, doesn't she? It's almost like everyone's balance is thrown off a little when she's not around. Where the heck did she run off to, anyway? I thought she just went to pee. Natsuki, please show some decency. Oh, come on! Uh, actually, she wasn't feeling too well and went home early. Oh, is that so? I hope she's alright. Seriously? Of all the times to not go home with her, you pick the time she's not feeling well? So much for you two being all lovey-dovey. Uh, no! First of all, stop misunderstanding my friendship with Sayori. And second, she's kind of been avoiding me today, so I didn't want to force it. Oh. That curious expression coming from Yuri of all people? <laughs> uh, what? Is that like your inner thoughts or something? Yeah, I guess. Calm down, guys. I talked to her earlier, everything is fine. What did she say? Well, anyway, we need to figure out the rest what? of the festival. So... Let us decide what everyone will do this weekend. Well, I already know what I'm doing. That is right, I have hiccups again. Natsuki will be making cupcakes. But we might need a lot and different flavors. Can you handle that by yourself, Natsuki? Oh, challenge accepted. And as for myself, I am going to print and assemble all poetry pamphlets. Sayori will help me design. And as for Yuri... Yuri, you can, uh... Mm, uh well, guys... Uh, can you help me come up with something for Yuri? Oh, I... Oh, I'm useless. No, no, that is not it at all. You are most talented person here, you know. Well... Uh, now Natsuki is pouting too! Jeez. Oh. Jeez, even I can tell now. I 
guess I never gave Sayori enough credit, but I can tell things are even harder on you when she's not around. Ah, that may be the case. But if I can't also be leader on my own, I won't grow as person. So, Yuri, you have beautiful handwriting, you know? So you should make banners and decorations to set atmosphere. Atmosphere? Um, about that. I... I love atmosphere. <laughs> Yuri's expression suddenly changes as she stares at her desk in focus and starts nodding to herself. Your mind is already racing, I see. This is great! You will be wonderful help, Yuri. But anyway, that just leaves you, Yessie. The one who is truly useless. <laughs> Aha! Do not say this! In fact, both Natsuki and Yuri have some pretty heavy tasks to handle. It would probably go a long way to give one of them a hand. You could always help me out as well. I would really be appreciative of this. Uh... That's... Is Monica suggesting I spend the weekend with one of my club members? Uh, How on earth are they going to respond to suggestion like that? Oh, I suppose I wouldn't mind a little help. Well, even if you don't know how to bake, there's always some dirty work I could give you. It's not like Monica's gonna give me a choice. You shouldn't be sitting on your butt anyway. Azuki tries to mumble a bunch of excuses like that. Um, if I recall, Natsuki, you mentioned you would like to handle the baking on your own. Jesse may not like to be around if you only make him out to be a nuisance. So, therefore, he may be more suited to assisting with decorations. Damn. Damn. Hold on, I never said that. How hard could it be to make a few decorations anyway? Sounds more like you're just making excuses for Jesse to... What are you saying? It will be extremely meticulous work. And baking isn't. Just what you think... Guys, guys, let us settle down for a moment. In the end, it is up to Yessi to decide how he would like to contribute. Besides, he hasn't really gotten a chance to spend any time with me yet, you know? So I am sure he is interested in... You literally just said... I'm surprised as well. Sorry, sorry. I was just saying, though... Oh jeez. Can we just settle this already? Oh, yes. Yes, you are okay with this, right? In the end, it's up to you. Uh, of course. Huh. Very well. In that case... Everyone looks straight at me. Oh, Sayori dot dot dot. Amazing. Like... I, I mean, obviously, the Yuri line's gonna be like, we flirt more with Yuri. But, like, right. Monica knows what the fuck is up. Right. Monica is in some next level meta shit. <laughs> and I wanna find out what's going on with her. But I feel like the game also is like, we know you're gonna pick Monica. Right. <laughs> then there's Sayori, who's not around. Yeah, what's going on with Sayori? I have no clue. Why is there a dot, dot, dot after her? I name? couldn't tell you. What if we pick Sayori? And see their reaction. Look, I'm down. Yeah? Yeah, let's do it. Fuck it. I mean... If it's going to be anyone, then I prefer helping Sayori. I mean, we're already neighbors and... But Monica said... Monica said Sayori was helping her. Jeez. Do you really hate us that much? No. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean for this to be difficult. Oh my god. Wow, okay. Just think of the club, okay? Wow, they don't let you choose Sayori. Um... Huh. Look, feel... I'm down for Monica or Yuri. Same, same. I just don't know which to choose. Um... I feel like it definitely wants us to choose Monica. Like, that's yeah. what the game's pushing us to choose. So I have no clue. I mean, it, it, it will be our first time to ever hang out with Monica. Sure, let's do it. Fine. What the hell? Well, I guess I should probably be helping Monica. Yes, you pick me! Oh, hold on a second. Y yeah. 
Monica, you're the one who needs the least help out of all of us. Eh? But... I agree with Natsuki. Not only is your work already most suitable for one person, but you already have Sayori as well. But yes, he was the one who... Uh... That doesn't matter. You were the one who scared him into picking you in the first place. You're the club president, Monica. You're supposed to make responsible decisions for the club. Monica, you really shouldn't let any ulterior motives interfere with this decision. Ulterior motive? What are you saying, Yuri? In fact, sounds like you guys are the ones with ulterior motives yourselves. Excuse me? This music is fucking crazy. Otherwise, this would have been made to do such big deal in There's first place. There's just a place. circus going by <laughs> yeah, in the what end. the fuck is this music? That's completely false, Monica. Oh well, yeah. We have a lot of work to do, you know. We wouldn't do as good of a job if you make us do it all, all by ourselves. Uh, maybe this is true. Think of the club, Monica. If we want our event to succeed, we need to appropriately distribute our resources. Uh, uh, so are you gonna do the right thing, president? Okay, okay, I get it. Ugh, it's technically most logical for Jesse to help one of you. So, I guess that is what we will do. Interesting. Man, the railroad. Is out. Yeah. The railroading. Okay, Yuri. Well, uh, I'll probably be most useful helping out Yuri. Uh, me? Are you serious? Why would you. Natsuki, I can already tell you are going to say something mean. No, I was just saying. Ugh. So you will help out Yuri then, Yesi? Yeah. Uh, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm glad. I have a bad habit of overthinking these kinds of things. So, your assistance will be really useful. This is great to hear! Natsuki, will you be able to handle baking yourself? I mean, yeah. I already said I'd be fine, so... Okay, okay. Everyone can tell that Natsuki is feeling a little sad. We literally picked three people before we picked her. <laughs> So, is that everything we need to go over? Yes, this should be it! Are you guys excite? Well, excite might not be the right word. But I suppose I'm looking forward to it a little bit. Do you feel the same way, Yessie? Fuck yeah! I guess you could say I'm interested in seeing how it'll turn out. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is good enough for me! What about you, Natsuki? Well... Natsuki. What? Why is everyone yelling at me? I didn't even do anything. Uh, no, that's not what I meant at all. Um. Yuri anxiously glances between everyone in the room. Uh, I'm sorry for this. I don't really know why Jesse picked me. Girl? And also, your cupcakes are the best cupcakes I've ever had. They go really well with my tea. And nothing that I do for the event will compare to that, so... So... I get it, I get it. I'm kinda surprised, though. Why? Um... Well, I'm the one acting immature. I already know that. But you're trying to cheer me up all of a sudden. I know I'm not very good at it. Sorry if I said something bad. Asuki isn't the only one surprised. Monica and I also taken back by Yuri's words. When she already has trouble with words, trying to cheer someone up must be far out of her comfort zone. But I begin to understand. Yuri was trying to sound like Sayori. Even if it didn't work out perfectly, I can tell that she tried to say something Sayori would have said at a time like this. Because Sayori always helps everyone smile and feel good about themselves. And now she's gone, and we straight up are like replacing her <laughs> in the story. No. Totally are. No, that's not true. Definitely are. That's no, we're not. All these other characters are taking on attributes of that girl. Well, I kind of appreciate it. Anyway, I'm sorry for making a big deal out of it or whatever, but I'm gonna say this. Huh? You better bet that my cupcakes are gonna be the best part of the whole event. Oh, I believe you. Yes. 
I hope to see everyone do their best. But with that, there is nothing more for today. So I guess time for us to head out. All right, let's get out of here then. Everyone packs up their things. I start to follow Monica and Atsuki out the doors. They chat with each other, but... Um... Uh... I turn around. Sorry. I realized I don't really have any way of contacting you this weekend. Oh, you're right. Can't believe that slipped my mind. Should I, uh, give you my phone number? I think that would be the best way, yes. All right, then. Yuri and I exchange phone numbers. Ooh! Okay. Then I'll be stopping by your house on Sunday? Uh, my house? Is that a problem? No, not at all. I just thought that we'd be, you know, I'd go to your house since I'm helping you. Oh, I suppose that makes sense. But if you don't mind, I think I would prefer going to your house. All right. So that Sayori can kill me easier. <laughs> In that case, it won't be a problem. Great. I decided to press Yuri for a reason. It's not like it should matter either way, so I'll just need to make sure my room is clean. I hope I managed to make myself useful in some way. I'm not nearly as creative as you are. Don't underestimate yourself, Jesse. I think we'll make a very productive team. Even if you only chose me because you felt bad or something. Wait, you don't actually think that, do you? Um... I don't know. It's difficult to come up with any other reason that you would have chosen me. I mean, I can think of two very obvious reasons, but also you have the most common sense. I chose to help you because that's what I want to do. But... Yuri thinks to herself with an extremely tense expression. Yuri, you're overthinking this. You wanted me to point out when you're overthinking stuff, right? Um, I didn't realize. I'm telling you, I want to. That's all there is to it. Do you believe me? I... Yuri thinks really hard again. She looks straight into my eyes for a long while. I believe you. As if it took her tremendous effort, Yuri finally says that and relaxes her expression. <laughs> so relaxed. I'm so relaxed around yeah, you. Yeah, I am too. After that exchange, I make my way out the door and Yuri follows. I can't believe this. Yuri is going to be coming to my house on Sunday? Even though I would have preferred to do this with Sayori, my anxiety still shoots through the roof. Guess I've gotten pretty used to handling her at this point. But who knows what might end up happening when we're outside of school. She even told me she was looking forward to it. I shake my head. Why do I feel nervous that Sayori finds out about this? If Sayori finds out? Whatever. It's not like we feel that way about each other. Besides, like Monica said, this is about the club. Yeah, it's about the club, man. I have nothing to worry about. Totally, man. If I just go with it, then I'll have a good time. Yeah, totally. It's already Sunday. Oh, okay. I've been getting increasingly anxious about Yuri's upcoming visit. I keep telling myself there's no reason to be nervous, but it doesn't help much. Yuri is clearly an introvert and also an intimate person in general. There's no doubt that she'll open up a little bit when it's just the two of us. Meanwhile, we've been texting occasionally. She was extremely apprehensive at first, but it wasn't long before I was already le learning more about her. But putting Yuri aside, I haven't heard a thing from Sayori since she left the club early the other day. It's not like we text each other all the time or anything, but I've been worried about her in the back of my mind. Between what Sayori said and what Monica said, really okay for me to put Sayori's feelings aside when she might need me? I decide to visit Sayori before Yuri comes over. Rather than asking, I simply tell her I'm coming over, much like what we've done in the past. Once I reach Sayori's house, I knock on the door before entering it myself. Again, we used to play so often that we've made it a habit of simply entering each other's houses like we were family. The house is quiet. Sayori isn't anywhere on the first floor, so I assume she's up in her room? It's already strange of her not to run down and greet me. I head up to her bedroom where I finally find her. Sayori? Oh, hi, Jesse. I sit down in her room. Sayori forces a smile, but it's easy to tell she's different. 
There's a minute of silence between us. Uh, you haven't come over like this in a long time, huh? Uh, I guess, guess you're right. It has been a long time. Not much has really changed, has it? Sayori's room is as messy as it's always been. I also recognize the same stuffed animals and wall decorations that she's had for years now. <laughs> well, if you came over more often, it wouldn't be such a mess. <laughs> <laughs> That's because I end up cleaning it for you. How come you suddenly wanted to come over today? Are you supposed to see Yuri? Yeah, but... Wait, how did you know that? Sayori had already left by the time we decided in the last meeting. Oh, Monica told me. Monica stirring up shit! I mean, it's only natural for her to keep me informed about the festival stuff, right? Uh, that's true. But what about you? Aren't you going to be helping Monica today? Oh, uh, of course! I'm just helping her online, though. We didn't plan to meet up or anything. Uh, so it's just me and Yuri, then? Yep. There's more silence between us. Sayori stares in a random direction. Everything about her behavior is really uncharacteristic. I finally get to the point. I just wanted to see how you were doing. After you left on Friday, when something's wrong, you can't hide it from me. I know you too well. So... Sayori smiles, shaking her head. Oh, that's no good, Jesse. Uh... Why can't it just be like it's always been? This is all my fault. If I didn't get to weak and accidentally express my feelings, I didn't make that stupid mistake. You wouldn't have been worried about me at all. You wouldn't have come here. You wouldn't have even been thinking about me right now. But this is just my punishment, huh? <laughs> I'm getting punished for being really selfish. I think that's why the world decided to have you come over today. It just wants to torture me. <laughs> Sayori! I grab Sayori by the shoulders. What on earth are you saying? Are you listening to yourself right now? I know something happened to you. There's no other explanation for you to be like this. So tell me already. Until I know, I won't be able to stop thinking about it. Uh. <laughs> Sayori gives me an empty smile. You really put me in a trap, Jesse. But you're wrong. Nothing happened to me. I've always been like this. You're just seeing it for the first time. Seeing what? What are you talking about, Sayori? Uh -huh. You're really just gonna make me say it, aren't you, Jesse? I guess I have no choice this time. The thing is, I've had really bad depression my whole life. Did you know that? Why do you think I'm late to school like every day? Most days I can't even find a reason to get out of bed. I mean, what reason is there to do anything when I fully know how worthless I am? I mean, why go to school? Why eat? Why make friends? Why make other people put their energy and caring to waste by having them spend it on me? That's what it feels like. And that's why I just want to make everybody happy. Without anyone worrying about me, you know? So many dots. I'm in shock. I can't even figure out how to respond. How is it possible that Sayori kept this from me the entire time that I've known her? She really wants so badly for me just not think about her? Why, Sayori? Huh? Why is it that you've never told me about this? It almost feels like I've been betrayed as your close friend. Really? Little Jesse, not the thing to <laughs> yeah, say. Yeah, just make this all about you, little Jesse. Not the thing to say, dude. Yep. Because if I knew, I would have done everything I could to support you. Even if there's only so much I could do. I would have tried a little bit harder to make every day a little better for you. That's why I'm your friend. All you had to do was tell me. Oh, you don't understand at all, Jesse. You really are dumb, little Jesse. <laughs> why do you think I didn't tell you? Because if I told you, then you would have to waste effort caring about me instead of doing your important things. I don't want to be cared about. It's bittersweet when people care about me. And it feels nice sometimes. This explains why some of her poem words were, like, really dark. Yeah. But it also feels like a bat being swung against my head, you know? <laughs> That's why I wanted so badly for you to make friends with everyone else. Helping everyone be happy together is the best thing for me. 
But then I discovered something else, too. Seeing you make friends and get closer with everybody in the club, uh, it feels like a spear going through my heart. So, that's why. That's why I decided the world just wants to torture me. So every path leads to nothing but hurt. <laughs> You're right that I don't understand. I don't understand your feelings at all, Sayori. But I don't need to understand. Whatever it takes for me to help you stop hurting, that's what I'll do. No, Jesse. There's nothing. I mean, nothing at all. The only thing that could have helped is if everything could be like it always was. But I was selfish. And I finally showed you what a horrible person I am. Tears streaked down Sayori's face. I, I made you join the literature club because I was selfish and, and I was punished by my heart hurting in a way that I couldn't understand. And now you came here and I've made you hurt too and... Oh, I'm just weak and selfish. That's all. That's all that I am. And that's why I'm going to accept these punishments. Because I, I deserve it. I deserve every last one. Without thinking, I once again grab Sayori's shoulders. This time, I pull her into a tight embrace. Ah! Jesse. Sayori. <laughs> I don't care if you feel selfish. I'm really happy that you convinced me to join the club. Seeing you every day makes it worthwhile enough. If I make friends with everyone else, then that's just a bonus. But please never underestimate how much I care about you. I wouldn't have it any other way. Jesse. Sayori isn't hugging me back. Despite my arms being wrapped around her, Sayori's arms remain at her side. She starts sobbing next to my ear. No. Don't do this to me. Please don't do this. Jesse, I... Sayori barely manages to speak between her sobs. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing, but all I want is for her to know that I care. If you... If you have it in you to call yourself selfish, then you have to let me be selfish too. No matter what it takes, I'll figure out what needs to change. I'll make these feelings go away, and if there's anything you need me to do, then you'd better tell me. I'll get mad if you don't. <laughs> uh oh. Ugh, little Jesse. I I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Gently, Sayori finally puts her arms around me in return. I don't know anything. It's all just really scary. I don't understand any of my feelings, Jesse. The only time I'm not feeling nothing is when I'm feeling pain. But your hugs are so warm. And that's really scary, too. Sayori lets me go. As she does, I let her go as well. The festival is tomorrow. Yeah. It's going to be fun, right? Yeah. How would you like for me to spend it all with you? Um, uh... It's what I want. I promise. I... I think that would be nice, then. Yeah. Sayori wipes her eyes. If I could spend the whole day here, I would. Of all the days, this has to be the one where I have other plans. Uh, maybe I should cancel. No, no, don't. Please don't. If you did that, I really wouldn't forgive you. But... It's almost time for Yuri to meet me at my house. and At the very least, do you want to come along and help out? It'd be fun. To my surprise, Sayori shakes her head. I'm sorry. I don't know if that would be very good for me today. You understand, right? Uh... It's kinda hard for me to fully understand, but I'm trying my hardest. That's okay. Don't worry too much about it. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Alright. I look forward to it. Man, I feel so bad for joking about her murdering us. <laughs> Like, everybody everybody built up this game as, like, a super disturbing game, so I've been looking for any possible signs. And so you're, he's, maybe is just, like, our sweet best friend who's going through some shit. I feel really yeah. bad for thinking, like, she's the murderer. She's going to kill us. I have no clue. I say goodbye to Sayori and exit the house. I don't know what's happening right now in this game. Me neither. On the way home, I find myself still feeling uneasy, but it's hard for me to keep thinking about it when Yuri is about to come over, too. I think Sayori is right. 
I shouldn't be worrying too much, and we're definitely going to have a great time tomorrow. I should just focus on what's ahead of me. As I approach my house, I see oh, something our house that looks makes identical. me yeah, feel a moment of panic. Yuri? Oh. Nice sweater, Yuri. Th thank you. They call it a virgin killer online. <laughs> You're a little early. I'm sorry I wasn't home yet. Were you waiting for a long time? Uh, no, I, I just got here. But I started to get really nervous when nobody answered the doorbell. You always could have texted me. If I had known, I, I would have reassured you and hurried uh, more on my way home. Oh, I suppose that's true. I didn't think of that for some reason. It should be common sense to do that, but I decide to ignore it. <laughs> Asshole Jesse. <laughs> anyway, let's go inside. I see you brought a lot of stuff with you. Yeah. Did you manage to find everything I asked you to buy as well? Yeah, pretty much. At least, I, I hope I got everything right. I'm sure it'll be fine. I take Yuri into my room. The first thing she does is glance around curiously, which makes me feel anxious. Oh, it's so clean. I am crazy like that. <laughs> 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 I like to clean. I cleaned it before he came over, so... Well, that's very considerate of you to do. Ah, oh, nah, I'm just trying to get laid. I would be really embarrassed for my room to be a mess while you were here. <sighs> well, I do enjoy cleaning. I would have gladly helped you clean. Ah. Well, I like to get dirty, Yuri. <laughs> <laughs> the look on your face was one of like, this shit ain't gonna end. You're gonna keep doing this. <laughs> You're gonna keep doing this the entire time. I mean, I've known you long enough that deep down I knew that. Yeah. You know? Look, if anything, I'm consistent. <laughs> you know what you're gonna get. It's true. People buy in and they get the exact product <laughs> they wanted. No lies here. <laughs> oh, that would have been even more embarrassing. Wait, don't look there. I snatched your wrist. Wrist? My wrist. Uh, which was in the process Show of opening a desk style. drawer of mine. Ah, ah. I'm sorry. I wasn't thinking for some reason. I was just spacing out. It's fine, it's fine. That's just where my porn is. I let go of Yuri's wrist. She puts both of her hands firmly on her lap and she's trying to keep track of them. So, um, should we get started? Oh, um, yes. Uh, I have a few things planned that you can help with. Decorations and, you know, other atmospheric enhancements. Atmospheric enhancements? You know, mood lighting and aromatherapy candles and... <laughs> Damn, girl. Wow. I didn't know you planned to take it that far. Uh, well, of course. I want to help take our guests to a faraway place. Although, many will stop by just out of curiosity. And for cupcakes, I guess. I'm determined to provide an experience that will leave them wanting more. That's great. It's easy to forget you're a pretty intense person. Uh, oh. Intense? I guess that's the best way to put it? Is that a bad thing? No, not at all. It's something that I like about you, actually. Is that so? Well, that makes me feel relieved. And kind of happy. Yeah, no need to be so anxious. You can relax a little. Right here on my bed. Can <laughs> <laughs> we put on some music? <laughs> <laughs> well, I brought some things for relaxation. I was going to use them during the poetry event. Oh yeah? Like what? Let's see, um... Yuri rummages through her bag. She pulls out a few candles and a wooden cylinder-shaped object. I did some shopping on the way here, so I happen to have these in my bag. I plan to cover the windows in oh. black paper and use the candles to light the room. I think that would be amazing. Uh, don't you? Yeah, that would be really neat. What's the wooden thing, though? Oh, this? It's a diffuser you know, for essential oils. How familiar are you with aromatherapy? Not at all. Teach me. Mm. Oh, oh, is that so? one of my favorite contributors to a positive atmosphere. Depending on the oils or the herbs that you choose, you can change the mood of the air itself. 
You can even feel it permeate through your body. Relaxation, positive energy, romance, reflection. It's almost like magic. Yuri takes the cylinder and pushes a switch on the bottom. In just a moment, a thin ray of vapor begins to spout out through a small hole in the top. Wow, that smells wonderful. What kind of mood is this one for? Romance. Roseman. This is a jasmine essential oil. Romance. It smells a little sweet and flowery, right? Romance. Yeah, that's a good way to describe it. I chose jasmine for the event. It provides more than relaxation. Romance. Jasmine enhances your emotions. It helps you feel them flow through your body. Romance. <laughs> you feel warm and your heart pounds more heavily. Don't you think that would be perfect for sharing poems? Does sound suitable, but you seem to know a lot about this, so I'll trust your opinion with anything. Yuri smiles gently, clearly enjoying herself. She again reaches into her bag and pulls out several spools of thin ribbon. What are those for? Well, did you purchase the origami paper I asked you to get? Yeah, I have it over here. Well, we won't be using the paper for folding origami. What I'd like to do is write a different word on each paper. We'll need about a hundred of them. Oh yeah? What will those be used for? Well, I'm gonna cut pieces of ribbon to hang from the doorway of the classroom. Then we can fasten the paper onto the ribbons and create a doorway curtain. Wouldn't that be beautiful? It would also catch the eye of those passing by the room. It may attract some people to peek inside. That's really creative. I had no idea you'd be so good at this, Yuri. Oh, is that that so? Oh, why do I talk to you? <laughs> do you really like me? Do you think that I'm good at things? I just want to say now. Uh-huh. That the more I get to know these girls. Right. Boy, do I feel like I made a terrible decision <laughs> in joining this group in order to hit on these girls where I knew nothing about them. Little now that I know, they're all kind of crazy. I should have just stayed with Sayori and like been her friend and been like, you know what? I'm going to go to my anime club. <laughs> right? Like... I mean, yeah. I just, there's... Uh, they're a bit... All of them are a bit much. Right. They're a bit too much. They're all tropes. Yes. Yeah. Which... Where's the anime game where it's like... They're not tropes. They're like, you know what? I'm pretty well-rounded, and I don't need you, main character. Then there would be no point in having a harem. That's just one character. <laughs> yeah, but, like, w can I make that anime game where you play and you're, like, trying to bang girls and are like, who the fuck are you? <laughs> Do you actually think I'm going to sleep? We just met. Have we, uh, not we. Have you played the alpaca game? No. W where you have a girlfriend already at the start of the game, but she turns into an alpaca? No, but that sounds amazing. It's great. Anyway, <laughs> I just, I just, the she's, more, she's the not more, tropey. she's just like a normal ass girl, but she turns into an alpaca. It's great. The more, the more I play games like this, the more I'm like, these are all problematic relationships. Yeah. Once you finally get with the girl, that relationship would not last long because you are literally just trying to score. I mean, yeah, you, your character, little Jesse has made it very clear. All he wants is bone town. Yeah. Which yeah. is like. I feel like that's the case for most of these games, except this one is very specific. Yeah. Which, again, I feel like is part of the weirdness that we're going to... Some shit needs to happen. We've got to have a threshold here. Like Something like, needs to happen. We are now officially three hours into this game. Jesus Christ. All right. Let's just see see where we go. Ha 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 ha. Yuri giggles with red cheeks. Is it just me or is she more relaxed when it's just the two of us? Or maybe it's the excitement she feels from sharing something that she enjoys. Here's a marker, Jesse. You can write any characters you want. I'll help you once I finish cutting the ribbons. Uh, all right. Sitting on the floor together, the two of us get to work. I carefully draw a different character on each paper, doing my best to manage my bad write uh, handwriting. Yuri unravels a long strand of red ribbon to her desired length. Then she reaches into her bag once more and pulls out a pocket knife. Uh, eh? the knife is strangely beautiful. Eh? The silver handle has an intricate pattern of waves etched into it. The blade itself is gently tinted blue. That's not an ordinary pocket knife. It looks really fancy. Oh, well. 
embarrassed. Yuri looks away. What is it? You're going to think it's weird. Yuri, I definitely think it's weird, but I don't have any reason to judge you. I'm trying to get laid. To each their own, you know? Well, if you promise you won't be weirded out. Yeah, I promise. <laughs> okay. The thing is, I'm kind of into knives. They're just so pretty, you know? I just can't help it. I don't know what it is. The combination of craftsmanship and the feeling of danger, maybe? Ugh, what am I saying? Please don't think I'm weird for this. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> You're laughing at me. No, I'm not laughing at you. It's just funny how nervous you get about sharing. It's, well, it's an interesting thing to be into, I guess. But I think it kind of suits you. It suits me? Yeah, it's kind of intense. <laughs> Besides, it's a really cool looking knife. I can't deny that. It is, isn't it? Yuri relaxes her expression once again. Would you like to hold it? Sure, I'll check it out. Yuri carefully hands me the knife. Handle facing me as you should. Mm -hmm. Clearly the lady knows her knives. Mm -hmm. I take it and turn it around in my hands. It feels heavy and extremely solid. Where do you even get a knife like this? Curious of its sharpness, I feel the point of the knife with my index finger. Ow! Jesse, why did you do that? I didn't expect it to be that sharp. I barely touched it at all. Oh, it's my fault. I should have warned you. This knife is extremely sharp. It can cut through skin like paper. Oh no. A small drop of blood trickles down the side of my finger. Yuri takes my hand and gives the wound a closer look. Oh. She stares at it and noticeably fidgets. If you're squeamish, I'll go wash it off now. Ah, ah. Without warning, mm -hmm. Yuri puts my finger in her mouth and licks the wound. Knew it. I feel her tongue curl around my finger. Startled, I instinctively pull my hand back. Uh, oh, oh my gosh, please forgive me. I wasn't thinking. I, um... Yuri lowers her head, her face burning up. Yuri? Oh my gosh, that's the most embarrassing thing I've ever done. Oh my gosh, how could I do something like that? I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Uh... Sure, it was a little weird and took you by surprise. No, Jesse, little Jesse. <laughs> time to get out. <laughs> I know it's your own house. I know it's your own house. It's time to run. I guess she was just trying to help, right? Yuri, I think you're overreacting a little. Um. She's clearly a vampire, and she's going to kill clearly. you. Clearly. She that's, doesn't lift that's her head. That's why she's into all those floofy words. Yeah. Like vampires are. Mm-hmm. What if she doesn't recover from this for the rest of the afternoon? All right, you know what? This might be a stupid thing to do, but I do it anyway. I take Yuri's hand uh, and lick her index finger in return. Jesse, did you really just do that? Now we're even. I thought you were gonna say, now we're even, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> bitch. There. Yuri just looks at me like I did something wrong. <laughs> that was a little weird. I knew that would be a bad idea. If not for the sweet aroma of the jasmine oil, the air would be extremely heavy right now. You're so weird, Jesse. Yuri ha, giggles ha, ha, shyly. Ha, 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 ha. Uh, <laughs> Yuri calling me weird? I have no response to that. Where do you keep your bandages? Um, I don't think I need one, actually. It was a tiny cut. Look, it already stopped bleeding. Oh, I see. Well, that's relieving. The tension is quickly lifted. We each resume our respective activities. I watch Yuri's knife cut through the ribbon like it's nothing but air. Meanwhile, I continue to make progress on the paper. After we finish attaching the paper to the ribbons, we lay them all side by side. Looks better than I expected and will be very effective as a door curtain. Mm, indeed. It looks great. Good thinking coming up with this, Yuri. Oh, thanks. It's just something I saw online, really. Are you ready to move on to the next task? Yeah, let's do it. Uh, what do you have in mind? I'd like to create a banner. Uh, that's why I asked you to buy the paint tablets. Ah, that's right. One of the items Yuri'd asked me to buy was a kit of watercolor paint tablets. 
We'll need about six cups of water to put, you, put each of the tablets in. Do you mind fetching those for us? Of course not. Six cups of water. I'll be right back in a minute. Thank you very much. Oh, and just a little bit of water is okay. If you fill the cups too much, it will be too diluted. I feel like I have to do something. <laughs> Taking I Yuri's advice, I decided to use small plastic bathroom cups rather than full-size glasses. I put them on a plate to catch any paint that drips, then bring it back into my room. Yuri? Yes? I come in to see Yuri quickly unrolling her sleeve, putting it back over her arm. Uh, nothing. Your face is a little red. Is it too hot in here or anything? Uh, no, not at all. There's nothing wrong, so, um, let's mix the paint. Yuri hurriedly dismisses me and takes it upon herself to unwrap the tablets, dropping them into the cups. So, um, I thought we could do something simple that would look really nice. I'd like to paint a gradient across the banner. Starting with the colors for a sunrise, and then daytime, and then sunset and nighttime. Once it dries, I'll write an inspirational quote across the banner. We can hang it on the wall beside, behind the podium at the front of the classroom. Uh, neat. What are you gonna write? Well, it'll be more fun to surprise you. Yuri smiles at me. If you say so. After rolling out the banner, banner Yuri and banner. I kneel on opposite sides so we don't get in the way of each other. Yuri uses a brush and adds a few dots of different colors across the banner to serve as a color guide when we paint. This kind of reminds me of elementary school. Painting on a banner with watercolors feels a lot like art class projects we had back then. It's relaxing. Ah. <laughs> I'm sorry if this feels too childish. No, I, I don't mean like that. It's just kind of fun, you know? Yeah, it is fun. I'm, I'm glad that you feel that way too. Yuri stops painting for a moment, thinking to herself. For me, I don't need to go out and do crazy things to have fun. In fact, I usually don't even want to. I just like when I can spend time with, you know, one other person. Even if it's something simple, like reading, it doesn't even matter if we don't talk much. Just having a friend next to me, it makes things feel a little bit nicer. I think that's all it takes for me to be happy. Is that so? Even if Yuri and I are quite different, I can understand where she's coming from. I feel that way about things like anime and games. Where oh, yeah, totally. simply sharing the experience with someone can make me happy. I think I feel the same way. Yuri smiles gently. I knew you'd understand. Yuri leans over the banner to grab an unused paintbrush, but I move at the same time, causing my head to bump into hers. Oh my god, Kya! Sorry! Yuri reels back and I quickly lift my hand in surprise. Are you hurt? No, I'm not hurt. Just startled, that's all. Sorry, I should have asked you to get it for me. It's not your fault. Ah, oh, your face. There are droplets of paint on Yuri's face and neck. Is there something on my face? Yeah, I accidentally got paint on you. Sorry, it's totally my fault. I'll get a towel right away. I rush out and fetch a small towel, then dampen it with hot water. I return to the room and kneel back down in front of her. Here. I pat down Yuri's face you and neck with a towel. You have tiny hands. Little Jesse's not known for his... <laughs> they call him Little Jesse for a reason. Right. Yeah. Ah. Is something wrong? Oh, it's just hot. I didn't expect it. Sorry. I didn't want to use cold water. Having finished, I start to retract my hand. But Yuri suddenly holds my wrist. Wait. Eh? Just for a little longer. It feels really nice. Ah. I keep my hand still against Yuri's neck. She looks into my eyes. It's an intense expression that I recognize from when she's reading her books. It's almost as if she's lost in a daze, enveloped in her own thoughts. She breathes gently, half through slightly parted lip, lip, lisps. Lip, yep, that sounds about lisps. right. Yep. What is happening? Is it the aroma of the jasmine oil giving me this dizzy feeling? 
Yuri's gentle fingers wrapped around my, my wrist send a tingling sensation through my arm. And suddenly, her face seems to be much closer to mine than it was just a moment ago. Uh... Yuri slowly pulls away. Sorry. I've been feeling a little lightheaded today. I didn't mean to space out. It's fine. I thought we were going to kiss. Oh, oh. <laughs> the moment is over as soon as it began. Stupid, tiny hands, little Jesse <laughs> screws it up again. Yuri picks up her brush again. But her movements seem clumsier, like she's unable to focus. I remain silent, forced to ignore the event that just transpired. I hesitate to leave retrieve my own brush, and continue following Yuri's example. That should do it! I finish filling the night sky with white dots that look like stars. Looking at the banner as a whole, it's pretty and natural looking. I think it came out better than I expected. I'm really happy with the results. Yeah, me too. Are you going to add the lettering now? Uh, not yet. It needs to dry first. That's true, but... Won't that take a while? Well, perhaps it would be best to leave it here and then maybe have you bring it in the morning? I can do the lettering in the classroom before the event starts. Is that okay? It's totally fine. I mean, you can stay around here a little while. We can find something to do. Winkoo winkoo. Yuri. Oh, wonderful. Barf. In that case, I don't think there's anything more for us to do here. Phew. Ah. <laughs> You say that like you're glad it's over. Was I wrong to assume you were at least enjoying yourself a little? Uh, no, it's not that. I, I'm just glad that we managed to get everything done. I see. I am too. I was a little concerned about time. I need to start making dinner soon. Ah. Uh, so you don't have any time left? I was secretly hoping that we have extra time after finishing the work. So was I, little Jesse. Um, well... Uh... Yuri thinks to herself. I, I think it would be irresponsible of me to wait much longer. Sorry. I was hoping there would be more time as well. It's probably my fault. Sorry for being such a slow worker. No, it's not your fault at all. The important thing is we got everything done, right? Yeah. So... I shouldn't be disappointed or anything. Gathering all of her things, Yuri seems to look a little downcast. I understand why. It sounded like she rarely gets the opportunity to spend time with friends in a relaxed environment. But that doesn't mean this is the last time it can happen. Once Yuri packs up, I walk her to the front door. Thank you very much for having me today. No problem. I'm glad I was able to help. Just let me know if there's anything else you need me to bring tomorrow. I will. Well, um... Yuri fidgets. I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Wait. I kind of say without thinking. About today. It's fine that we didn't have as much time as we wanted. Because we can do this again. Whenever you want. You can come over. Or we can go out somewhere. God, uh, I forgot you don't like to go out much. As I stumble over my words, Yuri simply smiles bashfully. Anyway, you know what I'm trying to say, so... You're very thoughtful, Jesse. Yuri takes a step closer to me, then briefly squeezes my hand. Oh! I kind of like that about you. Well, how am I supposed to respond to that? Sha-la-la-la-la-la! My oh my! I fucked a bunch of my butter! Kiss to go! Wow, wow! Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for being that fish in the background who goes, Oh, wow, wow! Yeah, no problem. <laughs> I'll always be that fish. Good, good. Yeah, yeah, Thank yeah, yeah, you. Yeah. Thank you. Everyone needs a that fish in their life. I think so. Someone's got to be it's that the fish. It's the fish for equivalent them. of a hype man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, clearly you got to have the, the wingman who's going to sing for you. Right. But the wingman's got to have that hype in the background. It's like, I got to make this song a little bit better. So we got to, oh, wow, wow. Wow, wow. Absolutely. Yeah. But I don't even get the chance to as Yuri suddenly pulls back. Uh, so, Sayori. <laughs> Oh, ha. Ha. Hi, Jesse. Sorry. Just now, we we weren't. Ah, uh, ha, ha. It's okay, Jesse. I just stopped by to say hi. Um. Well, it's nice to see you. Sorry, I'm uh, on my way to leave. So. 
Aw, oh, really? That's too bad. Uh, sorry. But we'll all be together at the festival tomorrow, so, um... So that's fine, right? Of course! Sayori beams. Y yeah, so, um... I'll see you tomorrow. Clearly embarrassed, Yuri hurries off. Sayori waves goodbye after her. Sayori, I thought you didn't want to come over today. Ah, uh, well, I tried staying in my room, but my imagination was being really mean to me. So I came over here to see it for myself. See what? What are you talking about? You know, how much fun you were having with Yuri. And how close you guys got makes me really happy that you've made such good friends. And, you know, that's all that matters to me. Tears start to fall down Sayori's face. That's all that matters to me, so, um... Oh, why am I feeling this way, Jesse? I'm supposed to be happy for you. Oh, why does it feel like my heart is splitting in half? It hurts so much. Everything hurts so much. This would be so much better if I could, if I could just disappear. Sorry, don't say that. It's true, Jesse. If I wasn't here, you wouldn't have to waste your sympathy on me. You wouldn't have to put up with me being selfish. Monica was right. Whoa! Monica is up to no good. What did Monica say? I should just. Monica? Monica was right about what? Um... Sayori, what I said before is true. I'm not going to let this continue. Caring about you like this isn't the burden your mind is making it out to be. It's something that makes me happy. It's something that I wouldn't trade for anything else. So, even if it takes an entire lifetime, I'm going to be by your side until you don't feel any more pain. But... Sayori looks away. I put a hand on her shoulder to reassure her. I'm scared, Jesse. I'm really scared. What are you scared of, Sayori? I'm scared that... that I might like you more than you like me. Sayori... It's true, isn't it? I, I was weak and I started to like you too much and... Oh, I did this to myself. Jesse, I like you so much I just... I just want to die! That's how I feel. And, and... That's enough, Sayori. I don't want you to hurt anymore. I slide my hand down Sayori's arm and squeeze her hand in my own. Do you remember how I said I'd always know... Do you remember how I said I always know what's best for you? That's a weird statement. Yeah, I don't... Okay. Do you still believe me? Wordlessly, Sayori nods. Even if you don't understand all your own feelings... I know what you need the most right now. No, you... Mm, uh. Mm. Uh. And that's what I'm going to give you. Mm. Uh. <sighs> All right. <laughs> All right. Jesse's doing the timeout sign. <laughs> timeout. Timeout. Timeout right now. If I say you'll always be my dearest friend, she's going to overreact, and it's going to be like end of days she I, I don't know what's gonna happen with her character I don't have faith that either of these would turn out well and if I say I love you then like not only is that just a flat out lie it's also horribly damaging to a person like this anyway yeah so like yeah you're right these For are shitty like this is a shitty situation I mean the only thing that we can do is tell the truth which is she's our best friend you'll always be my dearest friend that's true you're I'll right see you're what happens right. Here we go. You'll always be my dearest friend. What you need most is for things to be like they've always been. Monica told me the truth. She told me how much happier you'd seem after you joined the club. I know you're struggling with some really difficult things right now, but please trust me that I know what's best and what will make you happy in the end. I promise I'll help get things back the way they were. I... I see. Sayori forces a smile through an incredibly pained expression. Ah. Uh, is this what it feels like to get stabbed in the chest? 
I should write a poem about this. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. It's okay. This is just my punishment, remember? For being selfish. So, um, please, uh, don't worry about these, these stupid feelings. I, I know you're right. I knew this whole time. There's no happiness down that path. And that's why I came here. Just so I could see the answer that I needed to hear. And, um, the other thing. You're also right that I just wanted to go back to the way it was. I realize that now. You really do know me better than anyone, Jesse. I'll just, I'll, I'll trust you. I'll trust you with anything. Anything at all. So... Sorry's smile finally breaks. All of a sudden, she turns around and drops to her knees. Ah! Clutching her head with both hands, she screams as loudly as she can. I'm so shocked that I don't know how to react. Ah! Sayori looks over her shoulder and flashes me one more weak smile before turning around and running off. Sayori! I'm left helplessly standing in front of my house. Why am I feeling so horrible about this? There's nothing more I could have done. The most I can do is support Sayori through her feelings and help her on the path that's right. But I'm having as much trouble understanding Sayori's feelings as she is. But I know what's best for her. Yeah, but apparently I know what's best for her. Yeah, even though I can comfort her, I keep wondering if I should be doing something more or something different. I still want to know what Monica told her. Yeah. If Monica was like, it'll be super fucked up if Monica was like, maybe you should just kill yourself. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Uh... I know these things will continue to plague me until things are back the way they were. I'm going to give it everything I've got. Sori will always be my dearest friend, and I'll do whatever it takes to put a smile on her face every day. It's the day of the festival. Of all days, I expected this to be one where I'd be walking to school with Sayori, but Sayori isn't answering her phone. I considered going to her house to wake her up, but decided that's a little too much. Meanwhile, the preparation for the event should be nearly complete. The banner Yuri and I painted is dry. I gently roll it up to take it with me. She sent me a pleasant text reminding me not to forget anything, and I reassured her. Funnily enough, I probably feel the same way as Nasuki about the event. I'm more excited for it to be over so I can spend time with Sayori and Yuri at the festival. But knowing Monica, I'm sure the event will be great too. Yesy! You are first one here! Thank you for being early! That's funny, I, I thought at least Yuri would be here by now. Monica is placing little booklets on each of the desks in the classroom. It must be the one she prepared that has all the poems we're performing. In the end, I found a random poem online that I thought Monica would like and submitted it. So that's the one I'll be performing. I am surprised you didn't bring Sayori with you. Yeah, she overslept again. A dummy. I'm just shit-talking her now? Now? Ugh. You'd think that on days this important she'd try a little harder. I say that, but I suddenly remember what Sayori told me yesterday. Really? You forgot? <laughs> I suddenly feel awful knowing it's not nearly that simple for her. I only said it because it's the way I'm used to thinking. But maybe I should have gone to wake her up after all? Aha! You should take a little responsibility for her, Yesi. I mean, especially after your exchange with her yesterday. What? You kind of left her hanging this morning, you know? What? Exchange? Monica, you know about that? Of course I do. I am club president, after all. But, I stammer embarrassed. Did Sayori really tell her about it that quickly? About how I basically turned down her confession? That, that makes me... God, I feel like the bad guy here. But I'm the one who knows what's best for her, right? Jeez, you don't think the full story at all, or you don't know the full story at all, so... Do not worry. I probably know a lot more than you think. Okay. I get it now. I know exactly what this game is. What? Tell me. Hit me. So, with I, I mean, we can continue going for, forward, but I think I figured it out. Okay. Um, Monica, who is like, hey, remember to save and all shit. Monica is either the game itself or a character in the game who knows she's in a game. Right. And 
she literally went as all the other characters are like slowly taking over Sayori's role. She literally went over to Sayori and was like, "Hey, look, we don't need you here anymore. He's into Yuri, and like you're just a character in the game, so like you don't like we don't need you around." And Sayori's like, "Hey, um, I, I love you. Don't you love me?" And when we were like, "No, we're just friends." In the game world, it's like, okay, well, I'm not on your path anymore. And she's like, I just want things to be the way they were. I just want to be the way they were, which to me is restart the game. Mm. And that line she just said is like, you left her hanging. I guarantee we're going to go back to her house. She's she hung herself. I guarantee that's what just happened. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about too. I guarantee that's what just happened. And I think this is going to be one of those things where as time goes on, like, uh, uh, Natsuki like is gonna, Natsuki is is gonna, gonna just disappear too, and yeah. something terrible is gonna happen to her. And Yuri, who has a knife fetish thing, she's probably gonna kill herself with a knife at some point. And at the end, it's gonna be Monica who's like, "It's just a game, bitch. Why do you care about these people?" Now you're just stuck with me. Yeah, she's like, "I could have told you all these things. I guarantee that's what's happening. I guarantee it. I see through this game already. Convinced of it. God, if that's true." Convinced of it. I don't think we're going to hit any of that soon still. You just want to plow through stuff and see what happens? Kind of, but we won't read it fast enough, right? Well, I don't, I'm not saying read it. I just want to like... I just want to... You just want to get to the fucked up I shit? just want to prove that I'm right. I know that I'm right about this. Okay. Convinced of it. Okay. All right. Wait, save. Oh, yeah. Save. Okay, return. Eh? Uh -huh. It's been friendly. Okay, cool. Check out the pamphlets. It came out really nice. Sure. Okay. Yeah, I really did. Ooh, look at these pamphlets. They're cool. Yep. All right. Flip through the pages. Each member's poem is printed. Yep. Everything's good. Cool. Yes. What's this? There is no Sayori. I flipped to Sayori's poem. It's a different one from... Oh, never mind. <laughs> it's one that I haven't read before. Get out of my head. Get out of my head. Get out of my head. Uh... Yep. Get out of my head. Before I do what I know is best for you, get out of my head. I listen to everything she said to me. Get out of my head. I show you how much I love you. Get out of my head. I finish writing this poem, but a poem is never actually finished. It just stops moving. Straight up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Straight up is that's what's going on. And Monica is the one who's in her head. Yeah. Yeah. Because Monica is either the game or like is straight up fourth wall breaking and is like, I know what's happening. Yeah. Yeah. Read the poem, I get a pit in my stomach. Jesse, what's wrong? Nothing, Monica, you're pure evil, and I see <laughs> through you. Right, okay, change my mind. I'm going to get Sayori. Yep, one hundo. Oh, gosh, okay. One hundo. Don't strain yourself, lol. Mm-hmm, quicken my pace. Gonna run over there. What was I thinking? I need to go get Sayori. Sayori is straight up just dead. One hundred. One hundred percent. Get to her house, knock on the door, no one answers because no one lives at the house but her because it's just a game. She doesn't right. have a family because there is no family there. Oh, God. Straight up dead. Sayori, she's a really heavy sleeper. I swallow. I can't believe I ended up doing this after all. Walk into the house. boop 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 Come on. Sayori, wake up, dummy. There's no response. Enter the room. Breach of privacy. Oh, God, I'm so scared. Oh. Told you. Uh What the hell? What the hell? Is this a nightmare? It has to be. This isn't real. There's no way this can be real. Sayori wouldn't do this. Everything was normal up until a few days ago. That's why I can't believe what my eyes are showing me. I suppressed the urge to vomit. Just yesterday, I, I told Sayori I would be there for her. I told her I know what's best and that everything will be okay. Then why? Why would she do this? I, how can I be so helpless? What did I do wrong? That's why she was like, better save. Mm. Mm-hmm. That's what pushed her over the edge. Her agonized scream still echoes in my ear. Which and that was her being like, probably Monica said to her, yeah, He's going to turn you down because he's trying to bone up with Yuri. Right. That's why she was like, get out of my head. This is my fault. Okay, let's just plow through this. 
Screw the festival. Mm-hmm. Care this guilt with me till I die. Now I can never take it back. Never, 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 never. End? Ho oh, ho, you have to like you have to save and make the choices. Oh my god! Oh fuck, now when we play, I wonder if she even exists. Whoa! You know, where's the payoff? Bring the strippers and boots! We do occasionally talk about video games. Bring the strippers and boots! Out of that time of video games. Bring the strippers and boots! Oh, thank god, I don't need pants now. Hey, JC! What are you doing? Not much. Making a fortune. It's a professional broadcast. Yeah, now sing the music. It's a professional broadcast. Bring the strippers and boots! Now here's to ask and answer one simple question. It's a you 